We'll pretend, you know, we'll just sit down and we will pretend we're waiting for an appointment or something. Why not? And it's probably, I think that's the first quick save I've ever done in this, which, uh, in hindsight, probably should have done sooner. 6 p.m., so let's wait for, say, a couple of hours. Maybe another hour. Maybe we're loitering around, generally speaking, making small talk. You know, that sort of thing, and it's, well, it's 9 p.m. I guess... Nothing's budging here. And, uh... Oh, yeah, they've locked up now, so... I guess it wouldn't refresh so long as we were in there. Um, if we were to go back in there now, I think, well, they might all still be in there because, like I said, this mod's not particularly cutting edge. It still has a few awkward bits to iron out here and there, but, um... Oh, well, that's a bit of an unproductive day. Spent an entire day pretty much just milling around the place. Which isn't so great, really. I don't know what the Argonians are up to. Are they, uh... They're still open. Oh, they're all just hanging around. Over there. Having a little powwow. Maybe they won't notice if I... Oh, oh, oh dear. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I'm just on my way out. Don't, don't, but don't mind me. Bollocks. Never mind. I was thinking of trying to get, trying to get to that soul gem on the shelf over there, but I guess not. What's going on in the Skyrim mission? Oh, they've locked up, and the lock's not particularly tight either. And there's no one around either. Let's find out what's in. Could be very well that we pop our head in and ah, uh, yeah. Sorry. Um. Uh, yeah, uh, run <laughs> before they start asking questions. Oh dear. Figured that might happen. It's not as if we could look through the keyhole, though, is it? After all, I suppose maybe we pushed the door open there and peeked inside. And that's what we did, as opposed to actually, you know, full on bursting into the room. Where are you wow, this place is uh, crowded tonight. Oh, uh, no, 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 thanks. I'll uh, probably just retire for the night, I think, really. What you know what? It's a bit crowded here. That might be a perfect opportunity to... Oh, you know, if my way wasn't being blocked right now. Thanks for that, guard. Speak up. Can I just get past here? Thank you. There. So, where are you from? How's everyone doing? You all having a good time? Good, good, cool. I'm just on my way down to the cellar. Go, go uh, get some... Uh, Get some bottles for the uh, the barkeep over there. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay. Well, she's just a patron. She wouldn't know any better. And since it's all crowded up there, they probably didn't notice me coming in here. So, have we actually got any music right now, or has it gone completely silent? I think it's gone completely silent. That's kind of annoying. Uh, the sounds more than a little iffy at the minute with this current installation. I have no idea why. But anyway, we're in the cellar, such as it is, and. We know from experience, or Claudia does anyway, that there's a surprising number of valuable things you can find in a pe person's cellar, like that. What I'm really on the lookout for, though, is... Where is you... Is it, is it, is it, I mean to say... What I'm really on the lookout for is some dreg wax or some slowed soap. So that stuff's worth a heck of a lot of money. Ah ha ha ha! There we go, slowed soap. Thought we'd find some. Most places like this have some tucked away somewhere. As you can see, she's no alchemist. She doesn't know what any of this stuff does. She only knows how much it happens to be worth. Oh my goodness! That's almost worth taking, although he might miss it. I don't know. Hmm, difficult to say. I'm going to have to pause here for a second anyway, hang on. And I return. Apologies for the pause. Now then. Alright, what I think I'll do with this is I'm going to I'm gonna go do a go over the, ta of the tavern just tomorrow morning before we leave. And pretty much just pilfer anything and everything that's worth taking. 
Uh, hello. Anything that's not bolted to the ground, I suppose, that's uh, worth a damn. And we will basically just grab it all and we'll leave the tavern and immediately jump on a boat to, well, the closest place we can get to Balmora from. And hopefully, even if they do suspect that it was us that stole the things, they will, I'll be long gone before any of them actually realise. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's what I think we'll do, and I've searched everything worth searching down here, so, yeah, I think this is going to be a primary target, look at that, spark stars, a gold piece, oh, I might as well take that now, I suppose, a flame skewer, whoa, very valuable, um, Alright, so anyway. Um, we don't really have time for chit chat. We've got nothing to chit chat about, really, as opposed. Oh, well, I don't. Let's have a nice chat with this fella here. Um, who are you exactly? Oh, you're a noble, apparently. Wow, a noble, huh? And you're talking to me? Fair enough. Um, hear any good rumours? My son was reaching a ship to Fort Frostmoth in the island of Salzheim. I don't know what he did to deserve that, but it couldn't have been good. Oh, I see. Any any advice for um, a newcomer to Vardenfell? The Imperial Legion may be recruiting. I fear the units are all at full strength at the ta in the town forts, but there may be openings on the frontier up at Fort Darius. Speak to Frog the White, Knight Bachelor, and Chapter Steward of the Hawkmoth Legion. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I, I, I'm not really cut out for uh, soldiering, I'm afraid. It's not really my uh, my thing. Oh, 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 okay, I think the time changed or something. Yeah, it's, it's midnight, so everyone's moving around. And annoyingly, there is a guard freely, in our room, which is a little awkward, and I think I might have to. Oh, I will, will this do it, I wonder? Hang on. Um, This might crash the game if I do this, but... No, 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 not that. Uh, what was it called? Is it RA? Actors reset. There we go. Right, okay. Um, right, we've kindly asked the guard to leave, and he has done so. Brilliant. Um, uh, like I said, this, uh, this, uh, this mod has some bugs that clearly need ironing out. However, as you'll come to see, I think particularly once we get to Bal Balmora, um, it, it was well worth installing. Um, you couldn't really see the benefits of it, I think, here in Ebonheart, because Ebonheart's a bit of an awkward place for a thief. However, we should have better luck in the future. Anyway, so, um, well, it's a bit awkward having a lit candle like that when we're trying to sleep. Just move it, move it over here. There we go. So we can actually sleep in the, in the dark, or as close as we can get to it, anyway, so... We'll sleep for a while. Um, Claudia likes to lie in, so we'll rest until 10 in the morning. Oh, and you can see, yeah, the windows are brightened up a bit as well. One of the things I do like about this uh, graphics mod, it added little touches like that. Sunlight coming through the windows, all that kind of stuff. And windows that are actually lit up at night. I think you might have seen when we were on our way into the inn, possibly earlier, that the uh, the windows were aglow with the lights from inside here. Oh, a bit empty this morning, isn't it? Well, um... I'll just head, up back, head up back to my room and I'll clear out, ready to leave. That's what I'll do. Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's see. What we got in here? A common shirt. No, that's not really what we're after, is it? A ceramic picture. Well, you take what you can get, I suppose. Oh, and the music is back, people. The music is back. Brilliant. Don't know where it went. But it's back. Right, I hope they, can, they can't hear me poking around up here. Oh, I'll grab those. Uh -huh, hello there. This looks a bit more promising, potentially. I'll have that. What have we got in these drawers here? Another vase. A spoon and a glass bottle. Wow. No thanks. A common amulet. Nope. Hardly worth the weight it is to carry. That looks like it's it. Wow, well, slim pickings indeed. Apart from that, um, let's stop sneaking before we come downstairs. Apart from that, 
lovely, lovely spear in the basement. Um, freaking, uh, they're busy talking over there. He's got his back turned. Let's just slip off down here before we're noticed. Grab these, stuff them in our bags. Quickly head back up here before anyone noticed as we were down there. Good. I don't think anyone did. They're busy. Yeah, they're busy chatting. And even if they did notice, it's too late now because I'm headed for the docks. Great. So, we can take the ship. Where can we take the ship to, though? Claudia has no bloody idea, does she? But I'm sure the shipmaster will have an idea of where we should go. Guard's out doing his fishing again. Uh, wait, are you the shipmaster? No. No, William. Um, I don't think you are, are you? No, you're just one of the deck hands, I suppose. Ah, brilliant. Okay, I need to get to Balmora, so uh, he'll probably tell her that the best way to do that is to jump on a silt strider from the foreign quarter in Vivek, uh, from foreign quarter dock outside of Vivek. So that's where we'll go. Pay him eight gold. Which is actually quite a bit, really, considering we only have about twenty-five to our name. How much do we have now? Yeah, eighteen gold. God only knows, I hope it's well enough to pay for the trip. If it's not, we can always pop into the VEC and sell some of our sundry Pelford goods there and then maybe afford the trip to Balmora, but we'll check how much it is to begin with, shall we? Excuse me, um... Like a trip, I'd like a like a. I'd like to go to Balmora if that's at all possible. Oh wow, really? You can't you can't sp spot me a, a single coin. Wow, dude, you're a tight bastard, aren't you? Fine. Well, what is this place? The foreign quarter, I think the shipmaster said. Uh, maybe we'll find somewhere here we can hawk these wares to. Maybe. It's got to have some sort of market here, right? Surely? I don't know. It's got beggars. That much seems to be certain. Ooh, Vivek. Got to be my favourite city in the Elder Scrolls games, Vivek. It's rather impressive. Mainly just because of the size of it, I think, honestly. It's the only city in the Elder Scrolls games which legitimately feels like it's big enough to be considered a city. Even the Imperial City in, in Oblivion kind of seems like it's a bit on the small side. Not by much, of course, but compared to this, yeah, it doesn't quite, you know, it doesn't quite feel enough like a city for me. Alright, well, um, oh, oh dear, it doesn't look like a market to me. Maybe we should ask someone for directions. That's a, probably a good idea. It looks pretty impressive, though, regardless. Can you ask your oh, is that a guard? That's... Wow, look at that armor. Go on about your business. I don't think I want to cross him. Um. Anyway, so... um. Excuse me. Greetings, fair Imperial. Would you by, be, by, by chance be looking for some new talent for a theatre company? No? Uh, well, perhaps you might be interested in some fine trinkets instead. Uh, no, no thanks, actually. Um, uh, I'm looking for some specific places around here. I haven't wandered from the foreign quarter since I got here. Perhaps asking someone else would be a better idea, hmm? Oh, okay. Fair enough. That there, in case you didn't realise, was the less generic NPC mod in action. The Vivek Thorin Quarter is one of the areas where it adds unique dialogue to. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, I hate to bother you. Uh, hello, I am Seren Othrelin, noble and pilgrim. Welcome to Vivek. If you want to know anything, just ask. Oh, brilliant. Um, well, uh, you, uh, I'm kind of trying to find my way around this place, really. I was very young when I was on the pilgrimage on the, of the Seven Graces. I remember marching through the Ghost Gate, up, upright and proud as I approached the shrine just within the fence. After I worshipped at the shrine, I was inspired and emboldened, 
contemplating on the greatness of the tribunal. With the recklessness of youth, I forged up its slopes with the intent of cursing upon the fane of Dagothur from the rim of Mount Red Mountain's crater. Unfortunately, I didn't get very far before my path was blocked by a terribly disfigured, myrrh-like creature. So I taunted it for as long as I dare, and then used Amcevi intervention to flee to safety. Somehow, I dropped my copy of the Pilgrim's Pack before I left. You, you dropped it? Yes, it was one of the few items I brought with me to Bardenfell. It's been in my family for three generations of Othrilans, and has great sentimental value to me. It wasn't the usual copies. It wasn't like the usual copies. It was larger, with beautiful illustrations and maps. I don't suppose I'll ever see it again. Well, I suppose not, really. Hell of a place to lose it, man, if I'm honest. Well, that wasn't very helpful, if I'm honest. Maybe if I ask him about Vivek. Show respect, Outlander. This is the holy city of Vardenfell, home of Lord Vivek. Second only to Almalexia's city of Mournhold. Here is located the palace of Vivek, the high fane of his temple. Uh, um, the Ministry of Truth, House Lalu, House Redoran, and House Tivani have their own cantons. The Redoran compound is one directly south of here, across the bridge. Uh, the Halalu and Talvani compounds flank the west and east, respectively. Uh, da, 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 da. What can you tell me about the foreign quarter, though? Can you tell me anything about the foreign quarter? I would really appreciate it if you could. Kind of thinking maybe you don't. Maybe if I ask about the cantons. Nope. No, apparently not. Well, that's, that's a shame, isn't it? Um... Really? I can't ask him about the foreign quarter? That's, that's a bit nuts. I, yeah, I'm not going to ask you for directions. Um, oh, hello. Hang on a minute. Apothecary. Uh, maybe she'd buy our slowed soap and stuff. Uh, that could be enough to get us to Balmora, actually, now I think about it. Okay, well. Um, hello. Wow, it's a pretty modest setup you have here, really, isn't it? God, you've got your shop set up in your own bed set. Wow. Um, a fair day to you, thief. What? <laughs> dear. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. Morrowind's um, dialogue system could sometimes use some work, if I'm honest. Um, this being a prime example. Basically, the game is pro the, the, this particular line of dialogue has been programmed in such a way that it says, A fair day to you. Insert player class here, and unfortunately our player class in this case happens to be Thief. Um, which makes the, the entire thing sound a bit strange. Um, if it had been a fair day to you warrior, or a fair day to you pilgrim, it probably would have um, made more sense, but anyway. So apparently she realises we're a thief and yet will allow us in, into her shop regardless. Now I could do something really dastardly here, like stab her and take all her stuff, but... That's a bit high profile, and honestly, that's not what we're looking to do right now. At least, that's not what Claudia's looking to do right now. And uh, e even though she has very, very loose senses of moral, a very loose sense of morals, I don't think just walking into a shop and stabbing the shopkeeper right in the, right in the, 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 uh, the ghoulies, and making off with all her inventory is really such a great idea. Um, uh, she doesn't like killing people. Not the job. Like I said, she'd done it before. She is a murderer, I suppose, but she doesn't like doing it. Um, oh, what do we got here? Oh, um, you may be interested in some of these I've collected. Um, possibly. Do you, do you want? You interested in these pictures? The goblet, maybe? No, no. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's see if we can haggle a bit more out of her. Um. Maybe? No, no, she's not going to budge on that. Uh, she'll do it for 114 there, that's good. Alright, we have a bit more gold to our name now, thankfully. Seems uh, going through the chap cellar was actually worth it in the end. However, Ebonheart's really not that far from here, and while we could probably quite easily lose ourselves in Vivek and the authorities are a devil of a time finding us, I'd rather still get going. So. Let's head on out of here. Yeah, as you can see, we also have new running animations. Um, one of the many, many, uh, countless things added by the graphics and sounds overhaul. Um, because as many of you will probably undoubtedly remember, the original um, running animations in Morrowind were laughable at best. 
like, really? Even by the standards of the day. So, I mean, these, these art animations aren't perfect, but at least they look a bit more reasonable. They kind of look like we're out for a job now, as opposed to, um... Kind of running like a Terminator in slow motion. Or something. Or like we've got a... Or, or walking like we've got a stick sh shoved up our ass. Um, you know, so... Let's head on over to the Silt Strider, and I think we should definitely, definitely be able to afford the trip over to Balmor. I can't believe this guy wouldn't let that slip that one gold coin. That's ridiculous. Congratulations, you made it to Vivek. Watch your step as you embark or disembark. I just finished cleaning off this deck three days ago, and I hate to have to touch up my work more often than I have to. It already looks like a flock of cliff racers flew through here as it is. Oh, okay, um... I'm Dunmer, obviously, however, I'm also the latest in a long line of uh, saddle bells to work as a caravaner. I guess you could say it's a family business. Oh, really? Something like that, yeah. My father and grandfather raised salt striders back on the mainland, and we set out, send out replacements when the old ones die or are too injured to continue. I've been operating this post for four, for four years, uh, I came out to replace Odachaya Shurinbal after he went to the priesthood. I was originally only going to replace him for a short time, but I fell in love with the city and moved here from Tyr. Uh, been here ever since. Me and Shinara. Pat, he pats the, uh, st the strider shell affectionately. <laughs> it, oh, his name, does it? That's my girl, Shinara. She came up with me when I left Tyr and the old operator took his bug with him into retirement. She's only 17 years old, but she's doing well for such a young thing. Salt striders generally live as long as 150, so they tend to need frequent replacement if one keeps his post long enough. Some call me foolish for naming her, but she and I have always been fairly close. Uh-huh. I was there when she was hatched, and she was the first strider I took an active role in raising. She's always been an in in instinctually responsive to my commands, and would even settle down for me when she wouldn't obey anyone else. It's a little disheartening when you're away from home, you've got known since birth, um, I, but I think we both like our new home even more. What's more, this is a fairly secure position, so Vivek City will never die out, whereas you uh, run that risk with many other towns. Anywhere else in Morrowind, when a town dies, the Silt Strider operator is out of a job. And no one much likes the thought of hiring an old used Silt Strider. Alright, well, enough chewing the cud with this fella, let's actually get on our way, shall we? to Balmora. Ancestral seat of House Hlalo. In Vardenfell, at least, anyway. Oh, here we are. It's uh, 7pm. It's kind of foggy. But uh, we've arrived, regardless. In, in, in such as we are. In a bit of a state, really. We've not, uh, not had a wash in a few days, at least. Still wearing the same set of clothes. Horrible set of clothes as well, for that matter. Uh, some random organic. I wonder if there's anything in these. Uh, just old karma egg. Uh, bits of food, probably spoiled food, really. Uh, yeah, it's all just junk. You never know what you might find in, 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 a, in a random crate while nobody's looking there, of course. And nobody, in fact, is looking. In fact, this place is pretty deserted. I suppose they're all at the pub. Uh, speaking of pubs, though, perhaps we should book ourselves a room before it's too late, you know. Uh, is this... I, saw, I thought I saw a thing. A yeah, lucky lock-up. I suppose that's what counts for an inn around here. Wow, yeah, this place is full of people. Okay, cool. Um, hello. All right. Huh? Clagius Clanler. As you can see, yeah, it's ra I think it's raining outside, so you can actually hear the rain in here. Because I have a mod that does that. I think it's pretty neat. It's probably the only sound mod I do have installed, actually, is one that allows you to hear outside weather inside. So if there's a thunderstorm out there, it will sound in here like there is a thunderstorm going on, which is pretty cool. Oh, wow, we have... 
Live entertainment, no less. That's pretty great. Um, he is, in fact, actually playing, although you can barely hear it, probably. He is actually playing the Morrowind theme tune on a loot. That's actually kind of awesome. There is a little sound file that plays, but unfortunately it's so quiet you can barely hear it normally. Uh, hello there, excuse me. Uh, you look like you might be the proprietor. Good day, I am Benulius uh, Agridilius, publican of the Lucky Lockup. Lucky, or the Lucky Lockup, or the Lucky Lockup, I don't know, fucking hell. Um, here in Balmora, we rent beds and I have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services, a specific place nearby, etc, etc. Yeah, give me a rundown of the local area. Balmora is a big town. Think in terms of districts. High town on the hill to the west has the temple, Halalu Council Hall. Ah, right, so that's where they are. Rich manors. Ooh, better shops. And the Morag Tong. The commercial district, just west of the river, has the Fighters Guild and Majors Guild. Shops and inns. Uh, Labour town, east of the river where the commoners and poor live, has only the South Wall Corner Club. Fort Moonmoth, southeast of town, houses the Legion Garrison and uh, the Imperial Cult. Roads south lead to Pelagia. Uh, okay, yeah, fine. South, what's this place then? The South Wall. It's a working class corner club in Balmora, east of the Odai River on the south end of Labour Street, owned by Bacola Kloskius. Who's, who's that? Owning proprietor of the South Wall? Yep, yeah, okay, cool. So you, you rent beds, you say? Yeah, we have one available. It's uh, 10 gold for the rest of the day. Do you want it? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's all yours, up the stairs to the left, enjoy your stay. Right, okay, so, yeah, some of the uh, guys in this do at least tell you where your room is, but unfortunately, half the time they bloody well don't. It's a problem I always encountered in Morrowind, actually trying to find out which room is actually mine, until I figured out that it has the unlocked message on the door. Oh, a chest, huh? Oh, sadly no complimentary bits and bobs. 8pm, eh. Kind of a bit late for snooping around. Plus, it's raining outside, which isn't particularly magnificent. You know. Yes. Not particularly great weather out there. Claudia's not fond of bad weather. Really. I guess, well, for now, Claudia is going to probably chill here and speak to some of the patrons and make herself at home. You know. Instead of just immediately going straight up to her room. And, um, wow, it's kind of awkward how they're all staring at me like that. Um, but yeah, she's probably going to sit down here and uh, chit chat and stuff like that for the evening. And then tomorrow, we're going to go have a look around the town and get our bearings and um, search out some juicy targets, perhaps, for our um, future nightly activities. Meantime. I'll see you all again soon. That's all for now, I think. And I will join you again next time with more Hardcore Morrowind for as long as this particular playthrough lasts. Like I said, don't expect regular updates because this is not a regular Let's Play. It's just a thing that I do occasionally. So anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.